Welcome to the movies, pal. Your friendly neighborhood master chaos back with you once again. Sumo is back with you once again as well. His arms are up, warning you because tonight's movie is a bit of a doozy. But fear not, I've got plenty of Haribo gold bears and lemon zesters to go around. Tonight's film is. Tonight's film is The New to Blue, Demonia, released by Severn Films, a Lucio Fulci joint. Is this as lucid as his other films? No, of course not. It's a Lucio Fulci movie. Demonia, directed by Lucio Fulci, is from 1990, runs 89 minutes, and stars Brett Halsey and Meg Register. Demonia tells a tale that you've heard thousands of times before. A group of archaeologists uncover the tomb of nuns who were buried in a not-so-pleasant way. How not-so-pleasant? Let me show you. Lisa, one of those archaeologists, is exploring the old cathedral when she uncovers the tomb of the crucified nuns. This leads, of course, to Lisa's possession by one of the demon nuns. You wouldn't know that from watching the movie, because the movie decides it doesn't want to be about a possessed woman. It wants to be a giallo. Or giallo. I'm not sure how they say it. Random people get killed in random ways that have nothing to do with nuns and have nothing to do with Lisa. So, as an audience member, I'm left wondering, wh what is happening here? Why is it happening? And we honestly don't get an answer until an hour into the movie. If you'll recall, the movie is 89 minutes, so waiting an hour to find out what the hell is going on is a little bit frustrating, and even applying the rules of dream logic as per usual for a Lucio Fulci film, this movie really tends to, well, there's no bones about it, the movie gets really, really boring. The best scene in the movie, of course, involves animals, because it wouldn't be a Lucio Fulci movie without some kind of animal killing someone. That first hour is essentially a police procedural, with Fulci himself playing a detective searching for the murderer. This is, of course, padding and fluff and is useless, and as an audience, 
We know that, and it just drags the picture down because we know for a fact that there is no killer on the loose. We know it has demon nuns in it. Let's just get to the demon nuns at this point. I think you can see I'm a little frustrated with this movie, which is unfortunate because I love Fulci and I really wanted to love this movie, but nothing literally happens for the first hour. At that hour mark, we find out that the nuns are part of some kind of sex cult where they held orgies and sacrificed babies and drank blood. It's 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 sort of a mishmash of things. It's not very clear what they did or if they worshipped the devil. It, it wasn't very clear. Basically, they were... They were bad people, and the townsfolk crucified them for a reason. Which explains why they're angry, but it doesn't explain why they're killing off random townspeople. I suppose that's just the fun of a Lucio Fulci movie, and if you can turn your brain off... Nah, even if you can turn your brain off, this is a hard watch. It's very frustrating, and only because it's very, very slow. As a matter of fact, the first time we find out that Lisa is possessed by this demon nun, or all the demon nuns is an hour and 15 minutes into the movie. That's actually the first time we see a nun at all. Let me remind you, the movie is an hour and 28 minutes. That is a long time to go without a demon nun in your demon nun movie. The police procedural stuff leads nowhere, and it eats up so much time that there's no time left for the big finale. Which, surprise, surprise, comes out of nowhere. Should you watch Demonia? I think you know what I'm going to say. The answer is no. I wanted to love this movie. I came in knowing that this was going to be a fever dream Lucio Fulci film. But even then, I was disappointed by the lack of plot and the fluffy police procedural stuff, which takes up way too much time and, like I said, goes absolutely nowhere. At the end of the day, the film is sold as a demon nun movie. And we only get demon nun action in literally the last 15 minutes of the movie, if that. I think the whole demonia thing is maybe five minutes of screen time in this one hour and 28 minute movie. I, I want to reiterate that. This is a 90 minute movie where nothing really happens. Oh sure, there's gore and random kills and an orgy sequence, but exploitative elements don't always make a picture. And in this case, to me, it didn't. Well, my friend, that has been my review of demonia. I hope you enjoyed that. Have you seen Demonia? Are you planning to see Demonia? I'm curious. Please leave a comment below. And also, if you enjoyed this review, drop me a thumb. I'd greatly appreciate it. The theater's about to close, so I'm going to sign off for now. I hope this video has found you happy, healthy, and well. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you enjoy grindhouse, horror, and random-ass movie reviews, well... Click that subscribe button and it reserves your seat at Master Chaos Theater. Well, my friend, I wish you a very pleasant evening, wherever you are.